hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you the if statement so if statement uh, if you have done the reporting previously within microsoft excel or sql or anywhere else you must have encountered the if statement but if you are coming here with, for the very first time and don't know if well the if helps you take the logical decision based on some condition for example uh, we want to show the product subcategory only for those uh, rows where discount is greater than 5% for example or profit is greater than $1000. So in such categories where you want to evaluate a condition first and then show the result you will use the if statement. Well for that let's go into edit and let's come over here um, go to this product category dimension. We can apply it in dimension or in a measure depends on what the business need is. But here I will show you how you can create a syntax. Well, uh, pretty easy. I will just say if. And now you can see if condition expression. Um, let's use the same one where discount is greater than 0 0.05, which is 5%. Then show me the product category. Otherwise, uh, you can specify something or leave it blank. So I'm leaving it blank. What it does is it's create a hyphen at the end. Uh, I'll show you in the front end and then you can understand. All right. So here we are only getting those values where uh, the discount is greater than 0 0.05. That means uh, what is the sum on end profit when the discount is uh, more than 5% suppose that's it that was the requirement so that is what you have been you have applied uh, within the dimension and your map table is filtered based on that and down there you can see these products which is uh, products less than 5% of discount 5% or less than 5% of discount they have been accumulated over here so that's about how you can use the if statement uh, what the condition is you can use it here in the dimension if you like you can use it here in the measure in the same way say for example you want to show the sum of sales only for those products uh, let's say which are furniture if, if that is what your requirement is so if condition is very useful in those tricky scenarios where you need to evaluate a condition and uh, now you know how to specify the syntax and uh, get the output and that's pretty much it i wanted to talk in this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic